We are all here together in front of the Finnish Parliament House to take part in demonstration to support Uyghur people and to defend human rights. We are here because some of these fundamental rights have been deprived from some people and those people do not even have the opportunity to demand these fundamental rights from those who oppress them every single day. Even today, many individuals, ethnic groups, religious groups or people with some political views around the world are experiencing what it is like to live in a society where freedom is deprived and uh, human rights can only be dreamed of. Some of these violations against humanity get more attention, some less. Some of these violations happen near us, some happen further away. What they all have in common is that all these people need our support to strengthen their voices as their own voices are sought to be silenced by continuous violations against human rights. The Uyghur people have had to experience what many already thought to be only a part of history and not possible to happen today. Ethnic groups facing controlling restrictions transportations to camps and being forced to witness their culture getting destroyed. Sounds like someone would read a chapter from a history book telling about the atrocities done by the dictators of the past. However, for Uyghur population of 12 million, this is not a lesson from the past. For them, this is their everyday life. The Chinese state and the Chinese Communist Party, which dictatorially rules it, see the Uyghurs as a threat to their own regime and for this reason have uh, for years continued anti-Uyghur activities that could be compared to ethnic cleansing. The UN estimates that as many as a million Uyghur Muslims are locked up in camps where the Chinese state is trying to strip them of their own culture, identity and force them to be loyal to the regime that oppresses them. In official speeches, the camps are said to be vocational training centers, but reports and information leaks from the region nonetheless tell the truth about this focal points for human rights violations. In addition to being transported for brainwashing to these camps run by the Chinese state, the Uyghurs have been stripped of their right to freedom even in their homes. They are subject to control by the authorities who want to monitor and restrict the free movement of citizens. A more descriptive term for what is happening in Xinjiang would rather be persecution. We are aware of the situation and the distress of the Uyghurs as victims of China's actions. Repressive measures against the Uyghur people are widely acknowledged by states and international organizations. China is also aware that other countries are acknowledging the human rights violations that China is committing. So why is nothing happening? What should we do to put an end to this cruelty? We may hear hopeless comments saying that people are only giving speeches and not making any real actions and therefore we will not see a change. However, the power of words should not be underestimated. We are here today to spread the word and trying to get people to see what the Uyghurs are facing every single day. We also um, have only our words as our way of acting, but words or lack of words can be more powerful than we think. If we remain silent, change will never happen and the consequences of silence will be suffered in the worst way, worst way by the Uyghurs. However, it is true that words alone will not be enough to achieve what we are aiming for. Repression that has been going on for years and is still being carried out after all the declarations we have made is a tragic sign of that. Despite all the states that have been together in declarations, the violations against Uyghurs are still happening. These kinds of 
declarations may even be seen as a way for policymakers to wash their hands of the whole issue and create an image of, uh, for citizens and Uyghurs that action has been taken. This must not happen or we will lose our standpoint that human rights are the cornerstone of the societies. China is pushing for its own alternative way of governance in which human rights are secondary to the interest of the regime. If we continue in this path, it will soon become a new norm that will affect the lives of billions of people. To support our words, we need also actions. We need actions that will show the importance of human rights and will make a change for more justice behavior. The whole world, including China, is dependent on international trade and decisions affecting it. It's a false assumption to make that only we Europeans would be in trouble if ships from China full of merchandise and investments did not sail to Europe and other parts of the world. China also needs global demand for the products and services it is producing. We should therefore tie more closely the values that are important to us in the cooperation we have with China. So a choice has to be made. How long will we allow the economic interest to run over everything else? If we ignore all other issues and consider only short-term economic interest in political decisions regarding international cooperation with China, the oppressed groups will pay the price for us. Are we truly willing to do that? I acknowledge that fact that I'm just a single member of Finnish parliament who has only limited influence in global stages. However, I refuse to give up for the things and values I believe in. And I'm certainly not the only one who is such a privileged person to have made it to the parliament and who is supporting these values. That is why I challenge those sitting in the parliaments of all other countries to act. Bring up the situation of Uyghurs in your own parliaments, raise the issue on your social media channels and share information with thousands and thousands of people. And when you get to speak to international community, make the decision not to remain silent about these issues. You have the opportunity to be the voice of those people whose voice threatens to fade away. Don't be silent. Save Uyghurs! Save Uyghurs! Save Uyghurs! Stop killing Uyghurs! Stop